I do want to see how your statistics compared with the rest of the world. Oh, yeah. It's going to say saved Kate. Well, I mean, they yeah. probably like all like... Actually, they got... Here we go. You told Kate to go to the police. What? <laughs> that's crazy. See, this is... This is that's actually a bad sign for yeah. the, the world the, right here. The greater gaming populace is just oh, they're gonna do it wrong. Yeah. You answered Kate's call. Good. Okay. You tried to shoot Frank, of course. You should have. Couldn't save Kate. Wow. The thirty seven percent. Yeah. Everyone Wait, else. Good, Jen. You're uh, really good I'm at pretty this. sure everyone else just like went to Google and figured out how to do it. No, see, I've been watching you play games for a while now. And you're not very good at them. Oh, so you knew she had sisters. No. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, everyone should blame Nathan. Yeah, Yeah. well, it was Nathan, so there you go. Do you think that right there is an example of class warfare where he appears to be in the, the, the top th income tier and all the rest of us playing this game are in the middle? <laughs> oh, I didn't water my plants. You didn't water your plants. Man, you know they die if you wow. don't water them. Yeah. You didn't help Alyssa. Too bad. You erased the link. Okay, almost everyone did that. I continuously don't help Alyssa. I did, I did that last time, too. Whoops. You weren't friendly. You accepted the invitation, right? You didn't write a message. What? Okay. You tampered with the railroad tracks, as opposed to what? Oh, I... Or the rail racks. Uh, I guess I could have got, like, wires to... I don't know. Oh, weird. I did the right way, I think. Yeah. In the most epic of fashion. You did not get entry to the Vortex Club party. Okay. Oh, you could have gone to a Vortex Club party. Yeah. Yeah. You missed Man. out on that content. Probably needed Kate with you, mm. you heartless bastard. Probably would have <coughs> Probably would have got drugged. Oh, wow. Then you could have had your own virus wow, of you a video. Didn't help Warren. There's a lot of you didn't in this. I think I was just the pace at which I was playing. I feel like we're learning a lot about you. Yeah. yeah. That I don't like this game. No, it seems like you just don't care about anything. <laughs> yeah. You don't You're care nihilist. about people. Uh, you don't care about plants. So did you guys like this one better than the first one? I'm over the shock of the subject matter and setting, and it does look like a solid... I mean, f for what the game is, well done. Yeah. I get, yeah. These games aren't for me. Uh, for what the game is, very good, I, I would say. Yeah. I I like storytelling elements. Like this is as detailed as Mass Effect. Like Mass Effect is yeah. as detailed as this. And you can still have other I mean, this is only twenty bucks for the whole season, so mm -hmm. well it seems like <coughs> it seems like you actually have legitimate consequences to your actions. Yeah, like for example, saving Kate. Yeah, Kate's now, dead. In the Telltale games. I haven't done Game of Thrones, but for The Walking Dead, if if you choose to save somebody or whatever, that person is gonna die in about five minutes. It's gonna happen. Oh, because they have not written it in a way that allows you to branch off that dramatic that that dramatically. Now, what you can do here in this story is the same thing. Effectively, Kate doesn't necessarily have to die, but she can go to a mental ward go somewhere yeah. yeah she leaves the story in some way and then just go that thing that happened with Kate they don't yeah yeah or they could yeah and that works here because it's more like the real life like you know people don't just live or die unlike the walking dead this one is i do think in this one instance it's probably okay that you let Kate die though because um that's one less set of dialogues that you yeah, have to go that's through that's true I do like games where they have unnecessary dialogue or repercussions that, you know, like Kate died, but it doesn't, like, it's not. Or a, you chose the waffles instead of the bacon and eggs. Yeah, like, I, yeah. you know, or like where you affect someone's life, but it doesn't really go into the main story arc. It's just like, you know, like you help them, you know, uh, pawn off a mask inside of a. A uh, tri like it's the first Bioware, uh, over Nice Old Republic. Like, yeah, help some woman auction off a mask, and that made it so she could get off the planet and raise her kid. And like, it has nothing to do with anything, but you you can do it or not do it. I, I do like when those little paths, but this is even better. Where like Kate died, and that is a thing. Yeah. <laughs> no, and like next time you go to the diner, they'll be like the usual, 
and then waffles will come out. Oh yeah, nice. Mm. And then you'll be like, subtlety, yeah. nice. Or if someone, yeah, I mean, like, there's, yeah, I'm, I'm interested to see if anyone was recording and saw me flash from downstairs to up on top of the building because there were people recording. No, time was frozen. Right, but there would be a spot. There were phones out, and so? she may have been, Max may have been in the field of view of somebody's camera phone. When she stopped in time, time yeah. and then gone inside the building. Oh, so you're building. saying that from where, she, someone had her in frame from yeah. where she was initially, so yeah. she yeah. just vanished. Yeah. Yeah. That had, yeah, you figured that would have happened. Mm -hmm. If it did, we'll find out in episode three. Oh, mm. man. I mean, yeah. I guess we can continue to use these as our fillers if we just have a week. No. No, we're no, I good. Think we're good. Telltale games. I want to try those out because they're better. Like, would you say the things I'm complaining about in this are better in those? Um, so they have lower graphical fidelity. They're kind of graphic novel art style, which okay. I think you might find appealing. They're it's it's like cell shading with slightly richer texture de texture detail, mm -hmm. like an image comic. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Okay, okay, S similar to image comics, sure, and um. They uh they function more based at, like I said earlier they function more based on dialogue trees and quick time events than they do on explore the room click on everything <laughs> yeah is there true. anything that you like he said like if you save someone's life they die five minutes later is there any where you actually are controlling or are you just watching a movie by clicking as far as I've seen there are no real consequences to your actions I I might agree with I think Game of Thrones might go the same I played the first episode of The Walking Dead mm -hmm. and it. Yeah. yeah, like I think I would like this better than that as yeah. far as that is yeah. concerned. From what I've seen, this is a, actually a better game yeah. than the Telltale yeah. series. Just the content. But is, I would, yeah. yeah, I would like this style put into Game of Thrones. Sure. I mean, Square Enix has been trying to make Final Fantasy just a movie forever. Like, they could do a Final Fantasy story with. I mean, they made a bad Final Fantasy movie. Yeah. Sandra Bullock. She was the voice? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know. Mm -hmm. And Donald Sutherland and Ving Rhames. Yeah. Hmm. Star-sided cast. Yeah. Yeah. For just a boring-ass movie. Yeah. I would say if you like the first one, you will like the second one of these. <laughs> like, if. Do we need to keep saying that? Yeah. I, yeah, that is really weird. Whatever. No, I think that's the best way to reference anything. Sure. Yeah. Like, like, if cheeseburgers are your favorite food, think about having a cheeseburger. I mean, that's lunch. like saying the star system. Like, do we really have to use numbers to calculate something? It's a consistent reference. I'm, it's not worth pursuing that line. <laughs> that line of dialogue right now. <laughs> okay. I'll, I just don't I'll even, never do it again. I think of I've it never as played you just a game like this before. Me. And so I can't really put a reference to like how good it compares to other things. So, oh, I see. So, <laughs> um, or you can just evaluate the game, yeah, on itself. I was gonna say no. you can you can do descriptive analysis that isn't comparative. Like you can you can analyze can and evaluate. I understand, things. but it's you are wasting words when you can just compare it to something. Like when you're saying how big something is, and he's like, "Well, it's smaller than a bread box, or bigger than a bread box." Like, it's better than it's like, "Well, it's like, you know, twenty four by twelve. It's like, oh, it's the size of a." Gym bag. Oh, okay, cool. Like, like that is a quick frame of reference. But like, I would say that the if you like the first one, you'll like this one. Isn't a comparable comparison to the the size of a gym bag. Yeah, I mean, I'm saying it didn't stray from the path of the first one. It would be much. like if you like to carry your stuff in a like gym this bag. one's not better than the first one. But no, it was you, the second episode of it. It's it's this worse. Is the episode. I didn't like this one as much as the first one. Oh, well, that's that. You know. The only way I'd recommend it is if you liked the first one to play the second one. Uh -huh. Maybe there will be more school in the third one. Uh, It'll yeah. kind of bring it back home. Yeah, <clears throat> that's what it is. If you're approaching middle-aged and you realize that it'll never get better than high school, you will like this movie. <laughs> yeah. Or if, this game, I mean. If you're in your prime... But it doesn't quite feel prime enough. Right. If it feels like it's if you want to go back before, to when you were poor and didn't <laughs> yeah. have any money and were living in other people's houses rather than your own, I don't know. I think <laughs> then that yes, that would be the as a kid though. You do in a way have a higher degree of financial security than as an adult, even if you make more money as an adult than your parents did as a kid. Because like 
as a kid, money in your pocket goes to what you want with that money. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> That's not how that went down for me at all. So <laughs> this is the most my financial freedom I had, I promise. Oh, sure. Well, I mean, there's there's a point when you break into an income bracket where you can do what the hell you want. Yeah. yeah but I don't know. As a little I, still, kid, I still don't think this is for kids playing this game. I don't think there's like 15-year-olds who want to play this. I think it is... Who do you think is the target? Oh, age? I do. think it's creepy adults <laughs> as no. the mainstream. Think audience. of there are so many teen precautionary messages in this that even like, OK, it seems to be written by people our age right. or older. It seems to be insulting to the group that it's about. Yeah, but that's that's whenever you get a big company trying to produce something that speaks to the kids, it comes across as pretty. Right. Sad. And I think kids would be more insulted by this than anything. Like, oh, is this how I think? Is this how, you know, I don't, I don't think kids would be into this. Well, I could tell you from what I've read on Reddit, just by the occasional post that comes up, they love it. Like they say, I'm 16 and I love this. They refer, well, they, they hint at their age. They don't say I am 16 and I love this. <laughs> okay. Context clues. Yeah. Like if you read the sentences, it will make sense. Hmm. I do. I I I would see the target audience for this probably not actually to be college students if it's based in college. Because if you think yeah. about it, entertainment for kids is usually you shoot for the age group right above them. You shoot for their big kids. Is who I guess they I just don't watch. see anyone this would appeal to. Really? I mean, it. No, I don't. It's got see bad it. words. It's got violence. It's got. Uh, it's got solid adventure mechanics. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, you I mean, bought it. Yeah, yeah, good, good. I point. bought it for this and this only. I had no intention of playing this you at all. You traded dollars for it. Yeah, sure. That is a fact. Motivation does not change that. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Plus one to the statistics for will there be another game? Yeah. There you go. In this series. Yes. No, if they did this stuff a little bit less me trying to figure out what they want me to do and a different storyline, then I'd be more interested. Oh, I do think the game this is a Square Enix game and uh, like I saw that you kept receiving emails as you go. I think it's designed for you to pop into the sub menu. Like I think mm -hmm. I have a yeah. feeling there's another level of depth to it. Thank God you can play through it without going there, though. No, I had no. Because each time you pulled up the journal, it really did tell you the next thing to go do. I mean, if you need an objective well, marker, no, yeah, that, yeah, that is. I mean, it's not a the genre five thing. bottles. It just said find five bottles. And I was like, where yeah. is the there's a puzzle. Well, fire pit. Gave you a campfire. <laughs> yeah, where is the fire pit? Yeah. Oh, you know, I. it is true. I. You are an MMO player from time to time, and I guess in an MMO-style game, they'll basically put the objective marker on each bottle, right? Uh, Not directly. There was but... a mod for, font for World of Warcraft that did that, and then after that mod became, an, everyone had it, then they pretty much every MMO after that applied it. But while wow, before there was no nothing. <laughs> so yeah, and a lot of people when they play games would prefer no objective marker because if the objective is to go find five bottles, they want to find <laughs> five bottles and not walk to five objective yeah. markers. The WoW mod even has like yeah. a cloud of dust that you pa follow to get to where you're going. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. so I think I think that perhaps part of your frustration with that where they're not telling you what to do is that you're used to going on a fetch quest where it's like, yeah, head to the this. forest of Riverthorn and slay the donkey. Yeah, I get. I mean, like, like. Well, as far as WoW goes, the the text, the quest text will say go northeast. Yeah. Or or go north of this landmark, something like that. It'll say by the river or something to that effect. And uh, what happened was people built a database of locations. So you didn't have to wander around trying to find these places. And then you got the add-ons, which gave you a little GPS arrow to wow. show you exactly where it was. And then WoW integrated that into the actual game. It's so weird how much oh. time and gameplay you wind up investing into a game like that to make it so that you don't have to play the game. That makes well, sense. I mean, with these games, it's all in-game. Like, all yeah. those games are in-game. So whatever makes you get to in-game faster is what people care about. Faster is weird, though, when people are sinking thousands of hours in. Yeah. I mean, my wife always were one expansion behind on our level, and 
we were okay with that. Like we actually felt like we were adventuring through the world of Warcraft. We never did end game on that one. Yeah. Well, now you have to go back and do it all over again since Cataclysm. Yeah. End game is just where you sit and grind for gear, right? Yeah. Where you run yeah. the same, same, you play the yes, same level of the game a hundred times. In all fairness, end game WoW, and I'm assuming all MMOs, is a different game entirely than everything leading up to that. Is that accurate? Yes, absolutely. It's it's a whole different experience. Most MMOs nowadays, like the failing MMOs are the ones that don't have an established end game and they think that their player base is going to take a while to get to it. And yeah, they don't then realize. there's that guy who does yeah. it in 40 hours. Yeah, like, and then they're like, There are high school students on summer vacation who have time to sit and play your game yeah. all day. And then there'll be nothing in the end game and then they'll be like, oh, we're trying to get content out. And then yeah. Yeah, like like you build your an MMO should be built from in game backwards. Yeah. And I heard that's what they're doing with No Man's Sky actually. Yeah. They they or have the, they have like the space combat and all that yeah. stuff. <laughs> and then they're finding a way to lead you up to that. Right. That's what I heard. Yeah, absolutely. That's what's going to be. Multiplayer space combat? Oh yeah. It's like mag. You get like 200 people just fighting each other on PVP and stuff. Cool. I haven't heard like Hello Games say that, but that, they're not really a reliable source yeah. as much as others. Mm -hmm. All they're going to do is make it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So without any other reference, this thing sucks. But if you played the first one and you want to know where the story's going, that's good. Yes. Or if you're of the appropriate category. The Whatever appropriate, category that is. The appropriate demographic, then you will probably love this game. 